Hello guys and welcome to my new let's play of Professor Layton from the Kiorius Village. Um, this is being played on my PC. So, since I don't have a uh, graphics tablet, I'm going to be typing, well, drawing with my mouse. Uh, let's have my last name. Uh, let's hope I don't make any mistakes. I see. No, not you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there we go. So, this game is actually very interesting. It's got a good story. Some of the puzzles are quite interesting as well. I said interesting twice. Yes, it's an interesting game. So, let's get started. To my dear friend, Brank. The things we saw that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. Because, you see... The audio may be a bit bitty, but there's actually nothing I can do about that. No emulators at the moment do uh, a perfect uh, play of um, DS games. And yes, I did say this is an emulator since it's on my PC, but I do actually have the full game. So, it's actually fine in the end. And I suggest you do actually get this game, it's a very good game. I don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? Before I continue, um, I didn't know how to sell the screen, considering DS has two um, screens. Uh, if you guys prefer to only see one screen at a time and then flick through if something changes on the other one, it's like the one on the left doesn't change that much, but the one on the right, that's where the story goes. So I could change uh, it through if you like, or if you want it up. Uh, from top to bottom, horizontal, or whether you like to keep it like this, uh, just let us know. Look, my boy, do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? Oh no, this is an altogether unique and exciting situation, and it has piqued my intellectual curiosity. But I suppose it would be best to explain the case before we arrive at our destination. Two months ago, Baron Augustus Reinhold passed away. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. Should put it in an envelope and send it to cash my gold. Well, to whomever successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Uh, also, while I'm here, yeah, I will say I do know the story of all the games that have come out so far, because I am a, an I, I am an absolute diehard Professor Layton fan. I don't know the I can't remember the puzzles though in the answers. Quite so. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. So since I don't know the puzzles, it will still be a good let's play, but I will not spoil any of the story, and I will try and act shocked. <gasps> What a perplexing individual. I wish I could have met him while he was still alive. It certainly sounds like you two would have gotten along, Professor. By the way, just what is this golden apple anyhow? Some speculate it's a rare antique, while others say it could be a gem, yet its identity remains elusive. But look, I can't shake the feeling that this matter is linked to some larger mystery. Something huge. Ha! Ah, is that your famous intuition acting up again, Professor? Hmm. Well, our first step is getting to town. Uh, um, also, while I'm here, I'd like to mention this is the American version of the game, so Luke's voice acting. Sorry to whoever did it. 
isn't as good as the English one because he actually sounds like he's properly from England, which makes it a lot better. This is all so exciting! I hope St. Mystere is ready for the famous archaeologist and puzzle-solving detective, Herschel Layton. <laughs> oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. And you immediately decided to take her up on a request, huh? Oh, well, Luke, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. I am a gentleman. If you say so, Professor. A true gentleman. We should be nearing the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. You got it. What in the... What's this? Lady Dahlia seems to have given us a test. We'll need to decipher this map in order to find the village. She wants to see if we're capable of cracking the mystery surrounding the Reinhold fortune. And that's going to be decided via Care to go, a to go, Luke? Map. I'll do okay. my best. A puzzle like this should be a snap for the apprentice of the great Professor Layton. Very well then, Luke. I'll leave this one to you. Think of it as a warm-up for things to come. Okay, you guys are going to see your first puzzle and the puzzle system. I do like that where it shuffles up and then goes left. Uh, ten picker axe. Easy one. My village is on a road that leads to no other towns. I look forward to seeing you there. Use your stylus to draw. I don't have a stylus, so it's going to have to be my mouse. Okay, so I've so got to get submit. I already know. Um, this is... My village is on a road that leads to a no other town. Okay. So... No, that one goes to there. Okay, so we got... That one goes to there. That one goes to there. And there. But it must be this one. Uh, no. Well, that goes to that village. Does it go to any other? No. So it's that one. Huzzah, we sold our first puzzles, ladies and gentlemen. Well, here's my guess. <sighs> Legion's Apprentice saves the day. That voice actually reminds me of someone. I can't remember who. That's great. The only town that isn't connected by roads to another town is the one in the upper left area of the map. It looks like you're all ready to start solving puzzles. Of course. There we go. Now we should be able to make our way to the village. Right you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. Huh? Professor, do you mean to say you already figured out the town's location? <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve with a glance. Anyhow, you'd best gather your things, Luke. We've arrived. I like to check each route to make sure I have got it right. Oddly, you don't get that on the English version. like that built for me. Interesting. It appears that the drawbridge is, in, is the entrance to the village. And we're stuck on the other side. What should we do, Professor? Oh, look over there. There's a man standing over the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. Um, oh, what's it? Uh, not even a later mobile can make it across the river, huh? But of course. Much as I adore the contraption, this is just a cut after all. Um, yeah, if you click around, uh, you'll find puzzle. We could swim across, but it'd be terribly cold. 
Uh, if you click around, you can find the hidden puzzles, and I will try and find some. It appears that this drawbridge is our little here in our town. Let's talk to this bloke. Good day, sir. We'd very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? Do I look like the sort of goat dropping the bridge for a bunch of fancy folk outside us? Hmm. You got a lot of love. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that cha changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia? Well then, I'd sure like to lower the bridge for you. Mr. Fancy Pants. Well, the engine is busted, and I can only move this busted bridge with a hand crank. Oomph. There's all these infernal slots I could put the crank in, but I've got no clue which one to use. Oomph. No, so smart guy. You got any idea which one is the right one? I will be putting on random English accents through this, although I can't do many. <laughs> Uh, there's no, there's no way to lower the bridge and get across without inserting the crank into the correct slot. Choose the slot that fits the crank. Okay, so it needs block, block. Well, it needs a block on a corner. So it's not that one. It's not that one. That is on a corner. So why isn't that one with a corner slot? Ah, that one's got a corner slot. Um, let's see if that matches. From my keen eye, I'd say that it does. Yes. Number one. Luke, here's my answer. Woo! Critical thinking is the key to yeah. success. 15 picarats. The more picarats you get, the more unlocks you get. But I'll show those if you want at the end, but they're not that much. Rotate cranking its silhouette shown here in the orange becomes the mirror of the slot displayed. Nice job. Now drop that bridge. I'm not doing it. Frank is. Or oh, Franco. That I'll do it. Hold on a second. I'll let that down. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. I just don't feel right about letting outsiders insert my star. But if the lady darling I get guess I guess that's better. I'd better. At least give her my regards, will ya? Yeah, <laughs> I'm putting my own words on now. <laughs> he does groan a lot. Well, wow, I've just realised Luke's got a big head. <sighs> but then again, he's got nothing against <laughs> nothing compared to Franco, who has no neck. Yes, we finally arrived in St. Mister. I'm so excited. I wonder what mysteries await us. <laughs> well, Luke, we'll find it. We'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. Uh, yes, I know how to walk. Yes. So remember, when you want to move, just tap the shoe, go the, go on, then give it a try. Uh, what's that? Someone's in that barrel. I wonder if that ends as many guests are in the country. Something very curious about that tower. Um, let's see what she has to say. Oh, hello. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to St. Mister, where our local expert is the puzzle. Oh, she's not late. Before I forget, you should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn a set of number of piglets. No more piglets and puzzle it's worth, the tougher the puzzle will be. They say lovely things about when happen, uh, things happen when you gather enough piglets. Imagine that, a reward for solving puzzles. For practice, try this little riddle that your hat reminded me of. Think, uh, think good and hard about your answer. Don't know what actually. I'm going to be saying that about pretty much everybody's accent I give. These four top hats are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. In other words, the hats are equally tall, but vary in width. One of the, these four hats has a brim and height that are the same length. Uh, which hat is that? Uh... Hmm. This one's more of inspection. It's definitely not B. 
It's not. It could be D. It's not A. It's C or D. Uh, I'm gonna go C because D looks like it's too long. We shall see. There we go. No! We got it wrong. Frankly, well, I'm, I'm got not it ashamed. Wrong. Look at things again. Try again. Well, we're down. Surely it's not A. D's too long. That should do it. What? No! Every puzzle has an answer. That is way too long. And it's short. That looks short. Wow. That's right. This is a very fa famous optical illusion. That explains it. An optical illusion is a visual phenomenon where your eyes perceive things differently than, than they actually are. There are dozens of known optical illusions. What's the world, uh, world coming to when you can't even trust your own eyes? My kitchen's an optical illusion. Black tiles with white uh, sealer. You get black dots in the corners. Oh, hello, bravo. I think you've got the hang of this. If you try your options one by one, you'll eventually find the answer. However, you'll also encounter lots of puzzles that can't be solved by simply trying all the answers. If you answer incorrectly, the pickers you earn from a puzzle decrease. Tough stuff, hmm. It goes to show how, you, how important it is to think of yourself and find the answer on your own. Well then, best of luck to you. I'll be rooting for you and she's clapping. Uh, puzzle 003, Strange Hats. He's now in your puzzle inbox. Cool. Um, I'm going to save it here, guys. And I will see you on the next episode of Professor Layton and the Curious Village.